Oh, well, does that not look ridiculous? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It's not the best uh, strap down job, I don't think, but it's gonna get us to where we need to go. All right, guys, we made it out here. All the kayaks survived the journey. Uh, uh, it's my first time ever carrying two kayaks on one rack, and uh, it's a little bit much for the car to handle, but you know, we made it work. And uh, I'm out here with my buddy Ty, who I think he's actually been in one video a long, long time ago. We used to fish a lot more when we were, we were kids before, before my YouTube days. We have some interesting stories, but that's for another video. Today we're gonna try and get him on a halibut. He's actually moving uh, in a couple days, so I wanna get him on a fish. That's the goal for today. We're trying to get him on a fish uh, before he heads out of here. So um, we're first heading out to try and find some squid. Um, there's a big squid boat right here to my left. We're gonna, got not too close to him, but we're gonna go kinda where these guys are going and see if we can find them so we can get some fresh squid to catch some, hopefully some fresh halibut. That's exactly what we did last time we were out here, and I'm hoping I can find a couple more. I, actually, I just need one. I just want to put them on one halibut. So if, it, if we can get one, it'll be a successful day. It's a little bit windy right now. Um, I think it's going to calm down a little bit in a couple hours, and then it might pick up you know, in another hour after that. So it's going to be a short morning, um, but hopefully we can get on some fish before we have to head out of here. So let's go find them. I didn't really see any, so I'm gonna try and like circle back around a little bit. I saw like a little bit way back there. So I'm gonna circle around a little bit, look around a little bit more. If not, then we'll just start fishing. Okay. I think there's some right here, so. Here's, have you ever used squid jig? Yeah. CBs? Okay. Yeah, so you just drop it down. You basically just jig it kind of same as you would a sabiki, but um, there's no barbs on it, right? So you, you have to just kind of reel it up slow and steady. Okay. Otherwise they'll pop, uh, yeah. Right yeah, there's, there's squid here. So yeah, and then when you get it up, you just kind of flip it off. You can just keep it like by your feet. Right yeah. There we go. There's a nice little one. Ooh. Yeah, they're not like super like thick right here, but there's some. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I heard that um, the big, the longer the tentacles, the more likely it is it's a male. It should be good. Um, okay, let me. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna go in a little bit shallower. I want to go to like 50 feet. Right now we're in 75. All right, guys, we made it to the halibut grounds here. So we're gonna strap on one of these fresh live squid. It's a pretty big one here, but the bigger the better. Just like that. One hook in the top, another treble in the bottom. Drop that right down. Last video. I think it was my last video, yeah. We caught quite a few. Well, actually, we didn't catch that many. It was really tough. And then uh, at the very end, we found a good spot. And, um, you know, we caught quite a few. So we're going to head. We're not right there yet, but hopefully we're going to find some, maybe even before we get there. But we're heading towards that, that kind of money spot. Yeah, yeah, I like catching halibut too. I'm surprised we didn't get any. I thought we would get at least one coming through here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If, can you see over there? There's like a kelp bed right there that's on the surface. And it kind of goes in. And then past that, it's all like, like there's kelp, then sand, and kelp, then sand. But some of it's all underwater. You can't see it from surface. Oh, 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 there's a fish. Oh, 
What? Sure, you, you want to bring this one in? This one's bigger. I think this is a halibut. I think I think it is. You sure? <laughs> All right. Keep your bait in. Maybe there, there could be another one. Oh, this one. Oh no, it's just the bottom. Oh. No, it's just snagged. Oh shoot. Snagged. Yeah. Hold on. This is all messed up. Oh well. Sorry. Yeah, it's a halibut. this way oh sorry not a huge one but not bad all right it's coming up now I thought it was snagged but maybe not yeah there's fish on there a little a ling. He must have swam into a rock or something because uh -huh. Yeah, that was definitely snagged there. <laughs> oh get over. Alright. Yeah, he must have just swam into a rock or whatever. Small little guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> when you're there he goes. That's crazy, there was a a ling cod and a halibut right next to each other. Yeah. So it must have been like sand and rock. Yeah, I was wondering if the halibut hang out in the little sandy patches mixed in with the rocks. Yeah, I think they do. I'm sure they, yeah, I bet they do. Cause, all right, here we go. It's a nice one right there. Probably like 20, let's see, 20, let's say 27 or 28, something like that. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. Yeah, 28. Not bad. Good eating size. All right, guys. Well, nice little 28 inch right there. Not a huge one, but um, nice eating fish. You can see it's a nice little halibut there, white on one side. Well, a little red now, but white on one side, brown on the other. It's got both eyes on the top of the head. Just like that. Boom, boom. Weird looking fish, but they fight good, taste good. And uh, yeah, they're fun to catch on a, especially on a kayak. So. We're actually about to head in here, and unfortunately, Ty didn't get one. Well, maybe he'll still get one here, but I'm actually gonna try to mail this to him. So, I'm gonna, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I've never mailed a fish before. I mean, I'm not gonna just mail it like this. That might be kind of funny, but I'm gonna go home and package it up, and then uh, we're gonna mail it. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm interested to see if it'll come in. All right, guys, so here's the plan. So I got all the fish filleted up to my freezer. It's frozen now. I uh, left it in there overnight and now I'm trying to get some dry ice uh, because apparently that's the best way to ship things and get one of those little styrofoam containers that I can put into a box. So I'm at actually Spartan Final now. That's what this guy recommended to me. So we'll see. We'll see if they have it. Well, they have these things. I guess this is what we're going to use. It's a little bit bigger than I was hoping for. Yeah, they're all the same, but oh well. Good. I'm just gonna have to. Excuse me? You said? Dry ice? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Oh, perfect. 
So we got the styrofoam container. Put some wing cut in here also, but there's the there's the dry ice. This is all the halibut. Throw some wing cut in here because we got some extra room. And then on top, I'm just gonna throw some old t-shirts just so that everything doesn't slide around too much. We're just gonna slide this in here. And I ran out of packing tape, so we're gonna have to pack it up once we get to the post office. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Just sign here. Yes, on the ground. And then right here. Okay. And then for you, your transfer number is this long guy that begins with one C. Okay, perfect. Okay. Beautiful. And this um, one? so I keep this one or? No, you keep oh. all of these. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Both of these are for me, and you are all set. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You all right, you too. Oh, don't forget to wrap it. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah. Still, Thank you very much. There's still some meat on that dollar. That's right. Yeah. We shipped it off. I put a crap load of tape on there. A lot of ice. Actually, not too much ice. And then our frozen fish. One thing I forgot to mention is because it's shipping air, or because it has dry ice in there, it can't ship air. So it has to ship ground. Um, we're shipping from Northern California to Southern California. So luckily that's not too long or not too far of a, a journey. So it's supposed to get there in one to two business days. Um, and hopefully everything is still frozen when it gets there. So anyways, Ty's gonna send me a video of how it looks when it arrives. Hopefully it's still frozen. All right, open it package from Die Hard Fishing. Alright. Best part. Oh wow, that's so nice. Some Die Hard Fishing merch. I'm excited about that. What else we got in here? <laughs> Some padding. All right, now the most important part. We got some fresh halibut. And it's still frozen. Everything. Everything's still frozen. Oh, we got more. Looks like we got some lean cut in there as well. Oh, it stayed frozen even though the Styrofoam took a big hit here, but everything still seems to be good. Awesome, get those in the freezer right now. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> all right, guys, just finishing up this edit here. Um, it seems like all the fish made it safe and secure and still frozen, so that's good. It's definitely possible to do. Um, I will say that it costs about $25 for the box, the cooler, and um, an ice. And then another about $40 to ship it all. So um, I think I shipped probably around like six or seven pounds of fish. And I probably wouldn't do it again unless I was shipping 10 or more pounds. I think it's probably not worth it for anything less than that. Um, just with the cost of shipping and all that stuff. Um, also, Different carriers have different limits on the amount of dry ice you can use. Um, I believe FedEx is actually the best one because they allow the most dry ice out of any of the shipping carriers. So I'm not sponsored by FedEx, but if you wanna ship some fish, FedEx might be your best option. Um, I think about 10 pounds of dry ice is probably good for like a two day shipment. That'd probably be the, the safest 
the most cost effective way of doing things. So if I were to do it again, a couple of things. One, make sure there's no extra space in the box. I mean, I stuffed it pretty full, but like you saw, even the little space that was in there managed to crack the, uh, the side of the little styrofoam cooler. So that was unfortunate, but I mean, it still made it, so that was okay. But make sure, stuff it with towels, Make get a box that fits exactly the same size as the cooler. Um, that would be my, my recommendation. And two, if you're gonna do it, don't do less than 10 pounds of fish. It's just not worth it for the price. Like I said, this is my first time shipping fish. So um, if you guys see anything that you, maybe you've shipped fish in the past and have some tips for me, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but other than that, hope you guys learned a little bit. Hopefully it was interesting. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment below and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.